Hey, it's Ellis with The Verge, here with Joey Flynn, product designer on Facebook Home, which is here running on a uh, brand new HTC first, running on uh, AT&T's 4G network. So Joey, can you uh, walk us through exactly how this works? Yeah, okay, so I think the most important thing is right when you turn it on, all of this content and all of your friends are just right there. So this actually replaces the Android lock screen. Exactly, it's there right when you turn it on. And you can see, you know, you have the clock for a second so you can glance at the time, but then it's replaced. Like, so if you need to check the time, you can just like flick it on. Mm -hmm. But then if it's, it gets quickly replaced with the caption for the story behind it. Mm -hmm. So then you also have notifications and message notifications here. And then you have this, your profile picture right here, which we've been calling like the bobble. So it's like your little bobble head. And uh, is this kind of like, Newsfeed photos scrolling through here. Exactly. Or is so it's, it curated? It's, it's no. It's it's like a, it's almost your exact same newsfeed. With we've there we didn't get to every story type like we were talking about there, but it's photos, uh, statuses, links, um, open graph stories. So you'll have Instagram and Foursquare and Pinterest in here, mm -hmm. um, and it's just all of the photos like redesigned to be extremely immersive. And you can see so. This is, this is like the uh, kind of like state where you can do notifications and bobble, but then we have a thing called feed, like the feed state, where if I tap or if I slide my notifications down, if I flick them down, then it just pops and now I'm in like a feed mode. Mm -hmm. So this is full on feed consumption. I have like comment and the likers and commenters. For, for uh, you can see here, this is like a status in small mode. And then when I go into feed mode, it just becomes like that much more immersive. The text grows. Um, so this and there's is the like, caption of the image right here? No, this is a status update. So this caption. is Justin, his status, and then in the background is his actual cover photo. Mm -hmm. So each of your statuses are kind of like branded with your identity. Mm -hmm. And it makes it just feel like extremely rich and like you have, you know, like a lot of like, everything, yeah. So this kind of ties in with the new news feed to that extent as well. Exactly, exactly, yeah. And so then you can swipe through, here's another status. Status, getting a lot of statuses. And, and you then can this like is, or comment. Yeah, yeah. So you can double tap to like, and it like follows your thumb around, which is pretty nice. And you see how everything has this like very bouncy physics. We basically built everything around a new physics engine, so everything feels like super fun to play with, and everything feels like nothing is like on a linear animation or nothing is timed. Everything is just based on like the way that you move. So, and so I know that this is running on kind of a mid-range Qualcomm Snapdragon processor. Does rewriting all those physics does that slow down the phone, or was it kind of built uh, for this type of experience? So this phone actually works like amazing, and we spent so much time making sure that all of, like on every device that we support, all of these physics and all the interactions were like the best that there is on Android yet. So even things like paging, like this paging is super fast. It's not, and like everything, like if I throw it, you can see it like bounces back. Mm -hmm. And so everything is just super responsive. So let's get past the uh, lock screen. Yeah, okay. So now you can, you know, you have notifications. Again, you can like throw them single ones away, or if you long press and they're multiple, it would collect up and you can throw them all away. Um, so what did you just do there? So this is, yeah, this is the bobble, your profile picture. So when you turn it on, you can tell it's your phone. There's like a nice personalization there. But when you press and hold on it, you basically get three options. Mm -hmm. One is to go to Messenger, so you can just quickly shoot off a message. Another one is apps, so you can go and access all of your apps. And then the third one is your last app. So it's basically like unlocking your phone. Mm -hmm. So if you're, you know, like Adam said, if you're listening to music on, and you're like running and you just want to quickly change the song, you can just pick it up, take it out, and swipe it to the right, and it will mm -hmm. always take you back to your last app. And is that Messenger app, is that the new one for Android that also includes SMS texts? Yep, it is, yep. Um, yeah, so then you can swipe up. And this is also really fun. This thing's like also, and there's actually sounds. Let me see if I can turn this up. So. Like everything has it's like this like, yeah, sense. exactly, this nice and delightful feeling to it. And when I, you know, when it sucks in, when it comes back out, the titles, and when you drop it, this thing's just like really fun to play with. So but throwing it up, yeah, takes you into the launcher. And in the launcher, it has basically uh, app pages that you can customize, you know, you can pick stuff up, drag it around, mm -hmm. move it around. And um, you also have status, photo, and check-in as if, as if this was kind of your Facebook app. But you exactly, know exactly. So it's a quick way where if you just want to pull your phone out, like swipe up and check in somewhere, it's really, really easy to do. Mm -hmm. And then we also have uh, the concept of an app drawer. So this is a concept that exists on Android where these are all of your bookmarks, but then you also have other apps that you can have if you so access that's one them. more swipe to the exactly. left Exactly. So you'll always start on your first page. But then one swipe to the left will take you to all your apps. Mm -hmm. And you can pick something up from over here, like this is the home app. 
pick it up, and I can just drop it. It takes me to the first open spot, an open page. And does that bring you back to your uh, cover? So, cover feed? so this is um, this is something that you need when you're a download. And so, if people were to ever like go back to their other launcher, mm -hmm. they would need a way to get back to this launcher, and so they could reset this as their intent. And how does this kind of play with something like Google Now, where you know you're swiping from the bottom of the phone? Like, if you were to use this on a, a phone, with yeah. Google so now. we still have Google Now, where if you long press down here, it takes you into Google Now, oh. and so you still have you still have Google Now accessibility. And a double tap here takes you to the App Switcher, kind of like an iOS. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah. So Google Now works perfectly with this, and. Uh, yeah, Google Now is awesome. So, yeah. And is this a menu button? Yeah, so this is menu. And we just wanted these buttons and kind of the other things with the rest of this device to recede as much into the background as possible. So not having extremely complicated glyphs down there, but just really simple. Um, so home, menu, and back. And I know you worked super hard on chat heads, which is uh, an interesting new way to kind of display notifications and also interact with people uh, yeah. while you're using apps. Can you show us I that? I just right? got one. That's pretty funny. That's perfect. So <laughs> yeah, this so is a chat head? Said, Yo, you're on TV. So yeah, so this is a chat head. So the thing that's so awesome about chat heads is they live in a layer on top of the rest of the phone. And messaging is so important. And it always is, you know, it, it's always a bad experience when you're doing something and you have to keep on leaving to respond to messages. Like if you're planning something or if, you know, when my girlfriend's having a hard day, I'll leave her chat head around just mm -hmm. so it's just like I can, you know, she's always there with me. Mm -hmm. And just tapping on it will take me directly into this, uh, directly into this message. So this is my friend Michael uh -huh. said, yo, you're on TV. You know, and I can respond, I can tap and, you know, add an emoji. And this is overlaid this directly is over, yeah, over so, what you're looking at. Yeah, so, so really you can actually even it. see it by, right by here. If I, you know, I can like tap here and it takes me directly back here. And if I'm in something like Instagram, it just follows you around. So you can carry on these conversations. Mm -hmm. um, do you like leaving it up there? Or do you, I know you can move it around, Yeah, you right? can move it around. So it actually follows around and you can chuck it around and you see it's like, it's really, really fun to play with. But since it, it works over every experience, mm -hmm. we wanted to make sure that it could comfortably fit wherever you're at. So. Oh. Yeah. So you could just like... Yep. So it stays, clings oh, to the outside. Oh, it clings to the outside. outside, yeah. Because we felt like if you could just place it anywhere, it would be a little too crazy. <laughs> um, so we wanted to make sure that it would always be docked to one of the edges. Uh -huh. um, yeah, and then again, you and can... that's quick access to Messenger right Quick there? access to Messenger, yep. And you can just pick these conversations up and chuck them off the bottom if you want to get rid of them. So but, can you show us that? Yeah. Do you want to get rid of Michael here? So I'm going to... I'll grab... Let me grab one more, uh, one more chat head really quickly. I'll just pop one out real quick. Oh, interesting. Yeah, so you can actually pop them out and take them with you if you want. So now I have these two chat heads, and I can grab this one, a Mac. You can also reorder them, so you if you want to reorder your chat. Mac's high pry right now, got to Exactly, put to yeah, and then you can just chuck them off the bottom. And you see it kind of like sucks it in. And it's really cool because you don't have to drag your finger all the way down here. Mm -hmm. It's just with a little flick, it flies down, and there's like gravity on this thing that actually mm -hmm. sucks it in. Um, took, took months exactly taking. exactly yeah <laughs> but it's so way. worth it because it's so fun to play with yeah mm -hmm. and it's I, I mean yeah the the value that you get from being able to message no matter where you're at in the phone is so high and they're actually so you find that you use that a lot oh so much yeah it's 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 like one of the things that once you start using it it's hard to believe that it ever didn't exist so, mm -hmm. yeah and so if you want to get rid of this you just yep. swipe it down so if I want to get the screen. yep throws it off sweet so what else can you show us from uh, Facebook home um, I mean, there's a lot of other really cool things too, and we focus a lot on the gestures here and like, you know, like I said, the physics, but for this photo, and it's also, I mean, this is a photo from like five minutes ago, so it's really cool to wake my phone up and I'm in this location and I see photos of other things happening in this location, but if I want to zoom out, I just long press. It's like this non-modal photo viewing state. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Throw him out of there. Uh, and so I can just long press and then when I let go, it pops back in and I can like move my phone out. Also for uh, the UFI, so or for the likes and comments, I can just tap I like there. UFI. <laughs> it's easier yeah, to understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, for the likes and comments, you can just tap down here. Uh, it pops up this popover, um, and I can just swipe it down, and it closes. And uh, so I know a lot of people who use Android like to customize their home screen or their widgets and things like that. How yeah. do those play into this experience? So we're not supporting widgets. Uh, there's a lot of things, you know, we wanted to make sure everything that we shipped in this first version was like the best possible way we could get it. Mm -hmm. And so just by the nature of that, there's a lot of things you have to cut. So things like widgets, we didn't get in there, but we're definitely, we, we're looking at and exploring all those options. So. And how closely were you guys uh, working with HTC to 
kind of develop a, a phone that you thought worked well? Like, I mean, just something like the circle there yeah. uh, is kind of feels like it's part of the same theme. Exactly, exactly. I mean, we focused primarily on the software, and that's mm -hmm. like that's what we build here at Facebook. Uh, but we did, you know, being able to use these devices and optimize this experience, you know, like they were saying for battery life, the battery life is extremely good on this device and mm -hmm. we've optimized it a lot around from everything from like the Ken Burns frame rate, making sure that it doesn't suck too much battery yeah. to all these other things. But these things like, like these icons I drew and we were able to say, you know, hey, we want to make sure that this and this pair very well. We want to make sure that these buttons are extremely minimal and that they don't like interfere with the, the rest of the and that's kind of the way that the rest of the phone works too. You can see yeah. like the back is extremely minimal and it, it, it's like a very friendly device, but it does kind of recede. On the side you have yeah. expandable SIM, members and a yep. SIM card. SIM, USB, USB. Um, speaker, speaker on the bottom, yep, rocker. Volume rocker and a mic yep. and a headphone jack and a sleep button. Yep. Very easy. Yeah. And, and on so the, this yeah. is... And like the cameras, like just there's a lot of really cool considerations with the device. Like the camera is very minimal, mm -hmm. and just like holding it in your hand, it, it's like a really nice size. Do you know how many megapixels the camera is on the front and the back? Nobody was, we, we haven't been able to find out. Yeah, uh, I think it's five on the back. Uh, actually, yeah, uh, I, you you ask someone from AT, uh, from uh, HTC. And is all this stuff loading in in the background? Uh, yeah. While you're having your phone in your pocket. Yep, exactly. But we spent a ton of time just making sure that we were also very like respectful of data usage because that's a huge consideration you know mm -hmm. and so we like crazily optimized when we add photos or like the size of photos you get based on whether you're on Wi-Fi or whether you're on 3G uh, you know based on your connectivity mm -hmm. and just like a lot of these things so so is this the same dialog box that you might find within the Facebook app it's it just is kind of popped out right here yep and is it, um, if you want to upload a photo, how does that work exactly? Is that like just as if you were in the Exactly, app? exactly, yeah. Can we, and, uh, can we look at that real quick? Yeah. So it's, yeah, it's, it's for the composer, for this first version, we focused on, you can, uh, you can go in here and add whatever photo you want. Mm -hmm. Those are my personal photos, so I won't get into them. Uh, <laughs> but then when you post it, it posts just directly into Facebook. But the composer experience is like the one that exists today. But we're really excited. I mean, there's so many things that we have, you know, we, we've thought a lot about and have started working on that we haven't been able to get into this first version just because that's the nature of shipping products, but we're really excited about that. And is there anything else on Android that you kind of compromised in order to have this really clean Facebook experience? Um, Aside from widgets, I guess. Uh, is there a notification? Like No, yeah, yeah, down? there's still the notification tray, so you can always pull it down and see the so rest of the this is the Jelly Bean stuff. notification tray? Exactly, yep. Uh, and yeah, so we kept a lot of this stuff because a lot of it's, you know, it works perfectly synchronous with our with our products. So. And you don't really see the status bar too much when you're kind of so, going around, right? Yeah, so for cover yeah, feed, not even there. yeah, for cover feed, we felt like, yeah, uh, you know, right when you start, you can check another chat off. Uh, you see the time and you see these photos. You want it to be like an, as immersive of a content experience as possible. So you can still do the same gesture of pulling it down to peek at it and then pulling it again to pull it down. Mm -hmm. um, but that's just custom catered for this experience because having edge to edge photos just worked so much better and it felt so much better. But we didn't want to make it so you had to go somewhere else for the status bar. So, And even, even in here you can do the same thing. So is this your new phone from now on, Joey? It is. <laughs> I know, yeah. All yeah, right. no, yeah, it's been, it's been great using it. All right, thanks so much for showing us. Oh. Yeah, no problem.